Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. <laughs> Welcome to the first day of the 12 days of nursery tours. I really, really hope that you guys enjoy today's video. We are going to be going to Kim's Nature to do an awesome tour of the houseplants that they have available. Before we get into this video though, guys, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that button down below. And if you enjoy this video, you can also give it a huge thumbs up as well. But with that being said, let's hear from our sponsor and then we will get straight into today's video. Hi, my name is Tim and I'm from Plant Runs. And to all those that haven't heard of us, we're actually a pickup and delivery service for houseplants. We serve numerous nurseries around the GTA and around Southern Ontario, all the way from London, all the way to Ottawa, as far north to Barrie and as far south as the Niagara region. To all those that don't know how we work, basically, Send us a wish list of plants. Our team will go out to our partner nurseries, both that are in store or online nurseries. We'll try and get those plants for you. We can pay on your behalf and then you simply reimburse us the cost of the plants, plus tax of course, and our delivery fee. So that's how easy it is. You can order your plants at any of our partner nurseries, which you can check out at our website at www.plantruns.com. Order ahead. Place in the notes that plant runs will be picking up and just as simple as that we'll pick up all those plants and deliver it to you if you have any questions please feel free to email us plantruns at gmail.com dm us on instagram our account is at plantruns and follow us on our facebook and instagram as well Alright guys, so we are here at Kim's Nature and I'm going to show you guys around. First I'll show you what they have indoors here and then we'll go into their greenhouse area. So they've got some succulents here. These are Cody Ladon Pendens um, for $20. And there's some Tratoscantia. Some golden pothos here. Chrysula ovata for $20 as well, and they come in some cute pots. And then some peperomia um, grayolens for $20. Some marble cream pothos. And some Scandopsis pictus argyreus, neon philodendron, and joy pothos. Lots of philodendron heteraceum. Some peperomia hope there. And peperomia pixie, I believe. Peperomia obtusifolia. Variegata. We've got Peperomia Ginny here too. And some Peperomia Obtusifolia. Some Money Trees. And then lots of different Dracaenas here. Super pretty. Some larger common anthuriums. Some snake plants. And some golden pothos baskets as well. And then behind me here, there's some Sansevierias. They're super beautiful. Some Cylindrica. Actually, sorry, yeah. Um, these are starfish sansevieria, I think. Yeah. And they also have some larger baskets of the cordatum, which are really beautiful. And then some golden pothos baskets as well. 
All right, and then there are some Stromanthi Trio stars here. They're very big and beautiful for $18. Some Calathea Rattlesnake for $25. This is Calathea Beauty Star, also $25. These look super large and healthy. Some Chinese Evergreens. These are the Silver Bay. And then some either Stripes or Maria, but I believe these are the um, Eglionema Maria. And then some Alocasia Poly for 25. ZZ Plants for 25. And then some smaller Monstera Deliciosas for 20. Oh, thank you. All right, so we're gonna head into their greenhouse area that has awesome stuff. This is where they keep most of their orchids and if they have some cool rare plants, they're usually in here as well. So let's go check out what they have. Right off the bat, there are some beautiful Serapegia woodii or string of hearts for $20. And then some ruby necklace here for $15. Ooh, they've got some really cool pitcher plants here. They're trumpet pitcher plants. And lots of really cool succulents. And then here they've got these amazing cacti. These guys in the wild are so incredible. They get so large and they kind of just sprawl across the ground. Those guys are 39. And then aloe Christmas Carol, that's pretty cool. Looks like an aloe hybrid of some sort. And then they've got these cool chrysulas. These guys are 15, 18, and $29. Really beautiful though. And then they have some Haworthias here. These are really interesting. I don't think I've seen this variety before, but these are only $10 and uh, there are some larger ones there as well. They have some really cool Horthia species here. This is only $6. It's an unknown species though, it looks like. And then of course they have the Horthia cuprii. These are awesome for $8. Ooh, these are really cool. Thelocactus. Hexadrophorus, I believe, for $20. They look like deflated something. I don't even know, but they're super cute. I believe these are Chrysulas. I'm not sure, but um, I've seen a few of these in different varieties. They're awesome. And then there are also just some other cool succulents up here. Lots of different Haworthias. Wow. Look how beautiful that is. And these come in these pretty pots too. I'm not sure what this is, but it's really, really cool. I also never knew they do have water plants. What are these called? Full hydro <laughs> underwater plants, um, which are really, really cool. I think these are some sort of swords, I think they're called. When I had fish, I used to have plants like these. Got these beautiful begonias these are angel wing begonias i think this might be um my special angel or something like that but they're very beautiful they're a little bit sun bleached it looks like but it's just because they're in a greenhouse setting and then here they have this incredible fern i'm not sure what type of fern this is um, Agomorpha mayanai, mayan, and <laughs> crested. 
and you can see it has these like fuzzy feet. And then they also have some Drosaria. These are the sundews. These are carnivorous plants so, so they can catch all of your fungus gnat problems. And then they have these beautiful jewel orchids as well. These guys are actually a hybrid. They look like the Ludicia discolor, but they are a hybrid of that and Roxburghii, I believe. And then here for $39, they have Hoya curtisii. And they also have some Raphidophora cryptantha. That guy belongs on there. They also have some watermelon Dachidia, which these guys are some of my favorite plants. Honestly, they're so beautiful. And they get super nice and pink and sun stressed. They also have the uh, dragon jade or nerd rope, <laughs> as people like to call them. Um, they're a succulent because they're a part of the jade family and they are super duper cool. They've also got some butterworts here. These are super awesome. They're really large too. And these guys are only $25. They also have Hoya imbricata, which is really beautiful. These are a more uncommon Hoya. And they are only $49 for these size, which is a really great price. They also have these guys, which I might get one of these. These are the um, Pothos Shangri-La. People like to, uh, call them the cooked spinach plant or something like that. But I think they're super cool. They're, they're not for everybody though, that's for sure. And then they also have Anthurium scandens pumila. Look at the aerial roots on those guys. So beautiful. Again, that one's not for everybody, but I like it. And then they have this variegated Phalaenopsis. This is one of the ones that I have. I think they're super cool. Mine is growing really, really nicely and I got it from here as well. And they're only $39. Ooh, they have some of these guys. These are awesome. So these are actually a type of orchid. They are super, super cool. Um, they are $49 and they're the Sedin Badania, sorry, I'm butchering that name. Um, Mitrata. But look how incredible that is. Super duper cool. They also have this beautiful string of dolphins here. I don't see a price on that one. Um, and then also this uh, fern orchid. These are very, very cool as well. This seems to be the only one left though, so I'm sure they had some nicer specimens of these guys at one point. So over here is where they have most of their Hoyas. Um, they have some common species here and then it looks like they have some more uncommon species over in another direction, but we'll get there. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm okay. All right, so we just met up with one of my YouTube friends to grab a plant, but I'll show you guys that later. Anyways, yeah, they have some awesome uh, Hoya Crimson Princess here, lots of those available. And they also have the Hoya Crimson Queen. And I believe all of these guys are $18. And they also have just regular Carnosa as well. And then up here they have some Carii Hearts for $8. Some more of the Crimson Queen. And then some larger Crimson Princesses on like a little stick here to keep them upright. And they also have some of these Hoya Carii Variegata for $39. They're a really nice size though. And then they also have regular Hoya Carii these look beautiful. I love the elongated leaves on these ones. Look at that. And these guys are 29. And then they also have some Hoya Carnosa Compacta here. These guys just have some hard water on them, but that will go away over time. And they're $18. And here they also have some Hoya Carnosa in larger baskets. Um, I don't see 
Uh, they are 49. They also have some really cool bonsais here. These guys are 79, but they come with this beautiful, beautiful pot. I believe these are Oncidium. I might be completely wrong, um, but they have some incredible flowers. And then they have more blooms on the way. Look at the flowers on these ones also. So pretty. And then they also have some variegated whale fin sand severias, and these guys are $40. They also have the regular ones. Um, these ones are only 29. That's a great price for the whale fin Sansevieria, non-variegated. Yeah, so they have these $10 peace lilies here. Some of them are in bloom. They are super duper beautiful. We have these beautiful Alocasia Fridex here for $35. And they are looking super duper healthy. And then over here, they have some larger ones as well. And these ones are $69. They've got a nice velvety texture. And then they have the Alocasia Black Velvet. These are one of my new favorite plants. I bought myself one and I'm so happy I did. I love them so much. And then they also have the, let me grab a different one here the Alocasia Maharani. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but it is really, really incredible. And these guys are 69 as well. And then here, wow, look at the stump on that. That is crazy. And these guys are 180. These are the Philodendron um, Florida Green, I believe. And they also have these smaller ones for $150. And then here, they've got Hoya Namularioides for $55. These guys bloom very easily and they are super beautiful. You can see actually, they have lots of peduncles as well, right here and up here. And then lots of Hoya Retusa for $55. And then some Hoya Caudata here. These are the last guys available, so they're a little bit more rough, but I'm sure they had some really beautiful ones as well. Here are some Philodendron Birkins coming in with some super white leaves. And these guys are $49. Oh, I almost missed these guys. These are Philodendron Giganteum. So these ones get absolutely ginormous. Um, these are smaller specimens, obviously, but they will eventually get to be sometimes five feet long, honestly. And they are $39. And then over here, there's some Monstera Deliciosas for $20. And then they have these fiddle leaf figs for $15. They also have these ficus elastica. These are the burgundy. Beautiful new leaf there. And these guys are only $18. Lots of different bonsais around me and some beautiful bromeliads. And these guys are all 50% off. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. These guys are also very unique. I can't even describe them, but um, they're the Crisula muscosa. Super cool, I'm sure they hang eventually. Some more string of hearts here. And then over here they have some incredibly large air plants. These guys are only $20. I've never seen them for this uh, little before, and they're so giant. This guy is in bloom here. This might be um, the end of the bloom cycle, I think. I'm not sure. I, I don't know air plants very well. 
And then here there are some assorted ferns for $4.99. There's some, um, I think autumn fern, actually I have no idea, maybe maiden hair. Some button ferns, blue star. And then they have the Osseocladus spathiliflora or fura. These are, I think, also known as the snake orchid. These guys are so weird, but very, very cool. This is the Osseocladus rosio variegata. So this is the same um, type of species as this guy here, but um, very, very interesting. It's a type of orchid as well. And these blooms are all dying off, but they have small blooms. And then here they have a very, very cool plant. Apparently these are like nerve plants. They are sonor sonorilla. I can't believe how beautiful those are. These are only $29. They're probably pretty fussy like Fetonias, but once you water them, they probably perk right back up. And then they have some orchids here as well. This is Ornithophora radicans for $29. And these are super cute. This is Bulbophyllum uh, putidum for $39. Wow. These are so, so beautiful. They're Oncidium lava burst or golden cocoa. Wow, I love seeing these guys in bloom. These are only $25. Look at these ones here. And then here there are some asparagus ferns. Super, super pretty. Peperomia um, raindrop or polybotra. These are a Neophonetta species or the wind orchid, they call them. And it's a Vanda. Or actually, sorry, maybe it was reclassified as Neophonetta. I'm not sure. And then a few different Peperomia species. I believe this might be Peperomia scandens. These are interesting. Look at this foliage. This is, um, oh, that's what this is. It's the um, site. Coppus or Cycopsis papilio. And those guys look like bugs when they flower. It's incredible. Some Peperomia, um, I believe this is Piccolo banda. And here are some Catalea muscombi variegata. $49. I really like this one. And then some Pelionas. And some Petonias. These guys are $4.99. This is my favorite orchid. It's just a very small version of it, but this is the Gastrochilus japonicus for $29. And then here they have some beautiful peacock gingers for $15 and some seersucker plants for $39. Or actually, sorry, they're now $25. And then they have some Hylia peperomioides. Some Cryptanthus. And then over here they have some more succulents. So some Kalanchoe here. These are really cool. Wow, look at this. I've never seen that before. It kind of just threw out some babies here. 
um, this says just assorted succulent, so I'm not sure the name of this one, but it is so, so cool. These are incredible. These are the variegated jade plants. I think this is like a mini jade though. I'm not 100% sure though. And these are $99 in this beautiful pot. And then up here, there's some red mistletoe cacti. And some other epiphyllums as well. I think I might have to get one of these because I keep talking about them and I love them so much. Actually, it's either this one or this one. This is the Echeveria setosa. They're very, very cute. And then this is Echeveria dimiputa. They're both really fuzzy though. I think I like this one better. And it's only $8. And then over here, these almost look like Hoya Bella Variegata, it's so funny. But these are Doromphianthus uh, belliformis, and they're only $10. And some Senecio stapiliformis. These guys are $18. Oh, these are cool. Ledeburia petiolata for $20. These look kind of like the seer sucker plants. I'm not sure if they're a part of a similar family or, or what, but they do look similar. And then some more Sansevieria, some pickle plants, some Opuntia species. Look at these guys. These guys are Mammillaria spinosima, <laughs> but very, very cool as well. All right. I really like these guys. I don't know if I'm going to get one, but I think they're super cool. I want to feel if they're different. Yeah, that's so funny. They feel super cool too. I also have always loved these guys. Gymocolysium anitsitisii variegata. Or, like, should I do that guy? He's cool. Wow, that's so cool. Back. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy. This guy's only $20 and I think it's super duper cool. All right, guys, that is it for the tour at Kim's Nature. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will be doing a full haul at the end of all of my tours, so stay tuned to see what I got exactly. But with that being said, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that button down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, you can also give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Plant Runs if you want anything that you saw delivered to yourself. And with that being said, thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye guys.